Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. As it seems to be tradition, um, let's have a scope of that sunrise. Get my melon out of it so it gives the camera time to adjust. It amazes me at how different the sunrises are every single morning. Uh, obviously, do these most of the time around the same time. Uh, on my way to the gym and just the different colors that that come out like blow me away absolutely stunning nature is beautiful get out and bloody appreciate it uh, so we get way too cooped up <clears throat> as humans uh, inside our little rat cages that we put ourselves into into the shoe boxes and whatever else but not here to talk about that uh, on my way to the gym and going to do some strength testing. Now, the strength testing did at the start of this challenge and now we're going to see how much I have hopefully improved. Hopefully haven't uh, lost any strength. I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see how far I've come. And uh, it's if you are setting goals, if you are trying to improve yourself in any way or you want to get better in any aspect of your life set yourself a goal set yourself a goal set yourself a goal or multiple goals if you will um, and give yourself a target to aim for because without that then you're just flying around blind and by setting the goal you are able to Give yourself something to aim towards. If you, this is an analogy I heard and I really like this one. Without goals, it's like you're an archer not shooting not, without a target to aim for. With your goals, then you're an archer with a target to aim for. Obviously, you can still shoot your arrow, but to what purpose? And even if you miss... Like I probably would if I was shooting a bow and arrow. Um, even if you miss the target completely, at least you are closer towards it and you are making your way towards your goal. But what I am actually here to talk about isn't about my terrible archery skills. Uh, what I am here to talk about is a bit of a segue from my strength testing. Um, if if you go through life without testing your own strength, then I feel you are not seeing what you're capable of. Now, I don't necessarily mean this in a physical sense, but I also do mean it in a physical sense, because uh, I think that we should all push our bodies to find out where its limits are at times, and um, maybe not quite necessarily in an extreme way like I have been doing but we should all we should all be active we should all be getting our body moving and we should all be testing our strengths and our limits in a physical aspect um, but then also in a mental and spiritual aspect <clears throat> if we do not do that then we get we get comfortable and we get comfortable in our surroundings. We get comfortable within ourselves. And the problem with being comfortable within our surroundings and comfortable within ourselves is there is a shitload of discomfort in that. So there is discomfort within the comfort. And that is where we can find a lot of our issues uh, well it's where a lot of our issues will actually start to stem from uh, because we get comfortable in our surroundings and in what we're doing then we become stagnant and we stop learning we stop growing and we stop developing without pushing yourself outside of that comfort zone which paradoxically paradoxically I don't even know whether that's a word uh, but <laughs> It's a bit of a paradox uh, because that, that comfort zone, as I said, is incredibly uncomfortable. 
push yourself outside of that comfort zone into an uncomfortable place and that is where you are going to start to learn that's where you're going to start growing it's where you're going to start developing and evolving <clears throat> now i'm not talking about pokemon evolving although kind of i guess you know you might might evolve from the little charmander into <clears throat> gosh um another one Everyone wants to be on in today. Uh, you might evolve from a Charmander into a Charmeleon. Uh, you could possibly pick up, go from having that sweet nature of Charmander into their bad nature or their, the angry nature of, of Charmeleon. Uh, if you don't understand Pokemon, I'm sorry. Uh -uh. But that's also part of the process of picking that up. Um, then you could also evolve from Charmeleon into Charizard. And you could be this massive badass that has so much strength, so much tenacity, so much skill and capability. Um, and that is, oh, this is a beautiful analogy. I'm going to do some writing on this one. Um, that is where you can start to learn to embrace your your shadow and that's where you can start to learn to embrace your inner strength and start using it to your advantage and without testing your strength without testing where your limits are without testing the capabilities of your own body your own mind and your own soul you are never going to evolve you are never going to to grow you're never going to expand outside of your present state of awareness now i don't necessarily mean just going to the gym i don't necessarily mean pushing yourself into areas of life let's walk through a spider web um there's a, there's a bit of a spider there have a go. Hey. some of you probably freak out about this but i'll see if i can catch him no he's gone yeah, distracted um uh, but it's, it's about stepping into, uh, like from a spiritual sense, it's, it's pushing yourself spiritually through meditation, through yoga, through any of those, those spiritual practices. Um, and that, that's, that's embracing your, your shadow, that's embracing your dark side, that's embracing the monster that is within, that's embracing your inner charmeleon. And whilst you embrace your inner Charmeleon and learn to adapt and grow with him, then you are going to evolve into a Charizard that has so much strength, has so much capacity for, for destruction, but you also then have the capacity to use that for good. You have the capacity to to be the protector of your tribe, of, of yourself, um, of, of your surroundings, of this beautiful place called Mother Earth. And now it's not about, life isn't about being being weak, it's not about being timid, it's, it's, it's about embracing it. And as JP puts it, it's about embracing your inner monster, harnessing them, and then also having the capacity to release it when it is necessary sometimes it is necessary to embrace that and to release your inner monster and you won't have the capability to do that in a uh, in a safe manner I guess um, or a controlled manner without without reaching where your limits are, without testing where your limits are, without controlling where your limits are. Find your ceiling, meet it, break through it if you need to. Uh, I've broken through mine several times and I've gone crumbling down, broken myself um, and have paid the price for it. I don't recommend doing that because that is catastrophic to your life. Um, but by doing that and by meeting where your limits are, smashing into them and 
breaking yourself and your limits, then you have the opportunity to rebuild your ceiling. Even if it's just this much taller, you're still increasing where your limits are and you know where your limits are. So you can push yourself towards your ceiling without ever actually hitting it and that that is where your growth is. That That is what happens when you, you push through into the areas that make you feel uncomfortable and this is what happens when you test your strengths um, and test how, how strong you can really be. I'm getting there, getting strong. Um, and I'm keen to see how this goes. So I'm about to go test test my limits, um, test where my my ceiling is at the moment as far as physical strength is concerned. Uh, two days, two more sleeps left of this challenge, uh, and I am bloody keen. So signing off for now. I appreciate y'all very very much. If you do anything to test your limits today, I want to know. Um, if you push yourself outside of your comfort zone, I want to know. Slide into my DMs. Um, keen to hear how it goes. And as always, I hope you guys have a bloody splendid day. And as always, much love and namaste.